Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel. We are Chris and Chops. And in our last video, you saw me leaving Kenya, going back to the Netherlands where I live. Even though there is a big distance between us right now, we still intend to make videos together. And in today's video, we just really want to catch up with each other. It's good to be back home, really. But it's also a little bit sad because of course I'll miss Kenya a lot. Chops, how have you been ever since I left? Did anything change for you? What have you been up to? Just, I would really love to know how you're doing. What's up? What's up? What's up? Okay. Karibu sana Nairobi, Kenya. So Chris, uh, what is it you miss about Kenya? Since you left, a lot has happened. Um, I mean, I've been good, alive, I'm still alive, thank God, yeah. But uh, a lot has happened. Uh, corona happened. And uh, not just in Kenya, but the whole world. So in Kenya, a lot has changed. Um, we have curfews. We cannot go out past 7 a.m., rather past 7 p.m. to 5 a.m. Um, we cannot leave Nairobi because Nairobi is on lockdown. Then Mombasa also is on lockdown. Then uh, nowadays we wear masks. This is a way of life. Um, a lot has happened. A lot has changed. So, yeah, pretty much that. And uh, yeah, I think the rains. It's been raining ever since. That's a good sign. Nairobi is green. <laughs> Very green. Well, yeah. I mean, yeah. I mean, apart from that. Um, what else am I doing? I mean, I'm working, working, working every single day, trying to make that paper. Apart from that, I'm also making videos, learning new tricks. This corona quarantine thing is, uh, has changed the game. So I'm pretty much on YouTube, learning and learning new things, new stuff every day. So yeah, so on the positive side, yeah, I'm learning new things. On the negative side, it's too much quarantine, man cannot go outside cannot cannot breathe properly because we have masks on but yeah we just have to live with it so yeah I ain't complaining I'm, I'm just saying what I miss the most about Kenya I would say three things um, the first thing is maybe really obvious it's the climate coming back here it was pretty cold and even though for the Netherlands this is not really cold um, it's still a lot more cold than in Kenya and I love the climate. I love that I can wear a t-shirt or a dress whenever I want. And in my country, you can only wear those clothes in summertime, which is a couple of months a year. So I would say I, I really love the climate in Kenya. And then the second thing is the nature, of course. Uh, just driving a little bit and seeing mountains or zebras alongside the road or monkeys. That is something that you can't see here and that is super great. So I love the nature. And then the third thing that I really miss is going to the fruit and vegetable market. Just walking there and having so many options, tasting the fruit, experiencing new types of fruit. Um, that is one of the things that I think are amazing about Kenya and I love it. I ate yellow passions for the first time in Kenya and I love them so much and you can't find them here. The mangoes are so sweet and avocados are so big. Everything about it is just great. If you would be able to visit the Netherlands, what would you be really looking forward to? And what are things that you're really excited to do or see here? So what am I looking forward to when I come to the Netherlands? Hmm. Um... Huh. I'd like to visit Amsterdam. Uh, visit the streets of Amsterdam. See how people smoke weed on the streets of Amsterdam. Do street photography. Check out the uh, people riding bikes. I understand it's one of the uh, biggest cities in the world where people ride bikes. I don't know if it's misinformation or. But I'd like to see with my own eyes. Yeah. Wow. That's amazing. And. I can't wait to show you around in the Netherlands and I can't wait to make that an amazing time and I'm sure we will go on so many adventures. That was it for today guys. We hope you enjoyed this video. Please subscribe, like, comment and we'll see you again in the next video. Bye!